feel I feel very honored and, and lucky to uh, to be getting this this honorary degree. I'm grateful for it. So this is a difficult time, but it's it's very far from being the the worst period of time uh, that we've gone through uh, in the last hundred years. The, the, the last century saw two great world wars which were far more destructive than anything that's happened right now. In Europe in particular, uh, the time since the Second World War has, has for the most part been a time of remarkable peace. So, in general, I'm, I'm actually quite optimistic uh, about the future. One thing that's happened uh, in the current era is that technology has destroyed many of the jobs that, that people used to uh, take for granted. That isn't to say that there aren't any jobs left. There are plenty of jobs, but they require skills that people need to be trained for. So, so for a more inclusive society, job training and education are the key. When it comes to climate change, I, I think there too, government policy is and is important. Uh, carbon taxes can make uh, carbon pollution more expensive. That will reduce carbon emissions and also make alternative energy, so-called green energy, like solar, wind energy, uh, more profitable. By imposing carbon taxes, we can reduce our reliance on fossil fuel and promote uh, the new forms of energy, make them more efficient. Ever since the, uh, the 18th century, we've been seeing a greater and greater effect of science and technology on society because uh, almost everywhere we look, we see the, the fruits of science and technology. The, uh, the fact that we don't have to work 60 hours a week to make a living uh, anymore uh, is thanks in large part to technology. The fact that we don't uh, die at age 30 or 40, you know, we live to 80 or 90 now, is due to science and technology. I see no reason why uh, science and technology won't continue to improve our lives far, far into the future. So yes, I, I, I think that the that the future uh, should allow us to have a more humanist society.